Okay, I call this the happy birthday card trick and it's based on off-centered coding. So in the description below, I'll add some links for those who would like to look up this principle and learn more about it. I have quite a bit on my channel that talks about it. It's called off-centered coding. So what you need the spectator to do is go ahead and just randomize the cards and they really should do all of this with your back turned. Okay, so you should not be watching them at this point. And you have them randomly choose anywhere between eight and 13 cards, okay? Now, since I don't have a spectator here, I'll have to just make a decision here. So why don't we go with 11? So one, two, three, four, five, six, nine, 10, 11. And then the spectator's free to mix the cards further if they would like. But at some point they gather them up and your back is still turned as the performer and the spectator needs to note the identity of the bottom card this is their special birthday card okay so as we can see it's the four of clubs the spectator then sets the packet on the table and asks the performer to turn around you as the performer simply pick up the packet and explain to the spectator that you're going to spell out happy birthday card trick. That's all you're going to do, okay? So happy, H-A-P-P-Y, birthday, B-I-R-T-H-D-A-Y, card, C-A-R-D, trick, T-R-I-C-K, happy birthday card trick, okay? And now from here, you as the performer just spread out the cards and you're going to now quote divine. You're going to identify the spectator's freely chosen card at the beginning, okay? And, and you're going to use your intuition to do it. So let me just tell you a secret ahead of time so that you know what I'm looking for. The spectator's freely chosen card from the beginning is guaranteed to be in the second position from the bottom, okay? And as I mentioned, this is based on off-centered coding. So you can plan on that being the case regardless of how many cards were chosen, if it's somewhere between eight and 13, as explained to the spectator, okay? So since I know it's that one, I can do a little bit of acting here and say, well, let's kind of break it about in half and see if we can eliminate some cards. Uh, I, I don't think it's, no, it's none of those. Okay, let's see, which card is it? Let's see. No, I don't think it's, no, it's not either one of those. Okay, what are we down to? I, strangely, I don't feel good about either one of those. I believe this is your card. Is this the card you saw at the beginning? And of course, the spectator is going to look at it and say, yes, and how in the world did you do that? Okay, so try this out. Anywhere between 8 and 13 cards can be freely chosen. If you just follow the steps that I've shown you, this will work for you every single time. So anyway, so thank you for watching and take a look at other videos on the Absolute Math Magic channel.